So this is just a quick update on what I've been doing with that loop antenna. Um, it's been away in storage for quite a while and I just thought I'd get it out and give it a try again. This time I'm plugging it straight into the PC on the mic socket just to help a friend out who's trying these things and show you how it all works on that. So there it is and it's connected to RG50 cable which was off an old um, extension cable for another antenna. And this is running downstairs into my middle room. Ooh, down it goes into the back in a sec. So here we are in my, in my room. Uh, you'll have to forgive the mess. There's where it's plugged into the PC along these silly connectors to get it in there. And this is going to be from my phone on the screen, so it might be a bit crap, but we'll give it a go and see how it goes. So this is Spectrum Lab, and I've got my sound properties open. What you're aiming for, if you want to receive time signals, if this thing stops going out of focus, is to set your um, sampling rate at 192 kilohertz, if possible. And that's exactly what I can do on here. So that's good. So we'll come out of that. If I can see what I'm doing. And you can see Spec Lab is Spec Labbing away. And I've not got it tuned into anything at the moment. But if we have a peer around here at 60 kilohertz, we can see. Oh, I've got such a wobbly hand. We can see time signal. The other one is very faint. That's DCF77. Well, that's to be expected because the antenna isn't pointing in the right direction, of course. My loop's pointing in a north northwestern direction, which is exactly where Anthorn is from me. Miles and miles away. So I'm going to use one of these buttons that I predefined a long time ago to. Yeah, you try holding a phone and doing this at the same time. 60 kilohertz. And there you go. That's the VFO there, the red diamond. And you can see it doing it. And that's it all on the screen there. If you go to components view, that's how that's set up. At the moment, where it says L1 and L2, there, I've got that black box set up to a, a hum filter, but not, oh this might be too loud, a hum filter, but not at the normal 50 hertz. I've got it set at these frequencies where these black bands are because I was getting quite an overload of some kind of weird noise from there. And it's there as well. They're like harmonics of each other. So ignore the black bands, they're just the filter taking course. One interesting thing that does happen is that every now and then something, somewhere, will switch on and cause these distortion lines. This one here. Um, it is picking up lightning strikes, very faint ones, but you know these things really should be outside and away from any electrical noise. But you can see our local interference can rub G signals but if all you're after is that time signal perfect and I can tune it into the other one but it will be a lot quieter yeah, I'll have to turn this up there you go not an awful lot to see you've got the submarine things which are down here and you can alter the display from here. So if you drag this in, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you start to drag in the screen along with it. So where we are, <coughs> dear me, there's one here. So we'll bring that back to seven so I can find it, drag it along to a sub, and that's all they sound like really.
it's just multi-frequency shift keying. Anybody that listens to shortwave will have heard very similar signals with radio amateurs, except these obviously are all encrypted. So again, there's some lightning strikes. Not very powerful because the area was not really in the right place for it. And I hope that's been helpful to some people. I can't really say much else about it other than show you some settings. Audio settings. 192. I'm so sorry about my hand shaking. Microphone, etc. Uh, Spectrum 1. The settings I'm using. Number two is that. Number three, I'm not using. Four, I'm not using. Radio direction finding, not using. FFTs, let's add to that. Audio input output you've seen. Go back to filter, click the filter. That's what that's set to. And you can see it filtering away there. Is that really it? Not much to set up really, it's quite easy. This black box is just the automatic gain control, so you can actually hear what you tuned into like that and this black box is the hum filter if you're wanting to try and filter out mains hum you'd alter these numbers to 49 and 51 respectively because then it tracks either side of the frequency drift and tries to remove this this banding here but there's not an awful lot there so yeah that's just a quick update thank you for watching